I'm getting ready right now. Okay. Where is this place at? Are you sure that's safe for me? So he's like, what? Looks like, uh, who does he look like? Really? Well, that's interesting. Hey, don't worry about this date, man. You're gonna love her. Me and Erica, both approved. It's gonna be a great date. Great date. Adam, what are you gonna wear? Something pretty. It's a fucking black. So, you really think I'm gonna like this guy? Yeah, I know I need to get back in the game. Wait, you know what? Fuck that, I never left the game. I am the game. Yes, I'm going to behave like a lady. The fuck is that coat? No! You said classy. That is not classy. And by classy, I don't mean that shitty brown sweater either. I have to drink wine and everything. I got a pregame. You know this. Mm -hmm. <sighs> this is a close one. Well, hey, this one time I'm still running late. Yes, I will. Yes, I will text you frequently. Okay. It's gonna be a good date. You know, just don't think about what's your sluts. Yes! That's it! That's the one. I'm gonna slay some ass. Well, wish me luck. It's gonna be a great date. So so sorry that that just happened. Um, hey, let me get this for you, okay? There you go. Thanks. 
Let's just act like that didn't happen, okay? Uh, yeah. So how are you? I'm sorry I'm late, by the way. I rush hour traffic. Uh, no, it's it's fine. Uh, I pretty much just got here, too. Um, I'm good. Really, really good. You know what? Um, Nathan said that you were pretty, but uh, he wasn't telling any tall tales, was he? Thanks. Yeah, Erica said that you look like a cross between Kevin Spacey and Zac Efron. And yeah, you look nothing like that, like at all. <laughs> uh, I don't know why she would have said that. Uh, if anything, I consider myself more of a combination of uh, Hugh Jackman and a young Bill Murray, if I may be so bold. Who's Bill Murray? <clears throat> Excuse me? I'm just joking. No, Egon was definitely my favorite when I was a kid, but as I got older and caught on to all the jokes, that it became very clear that Bankman is the Ghostbuster. Great. A uh, fellow Bill Murray fan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Check. <laughs> is, that, is that like a list? A list of attributes for like your perfect woman? Is that what that was? Yeah. Why, is that weird? A little bit. Uh, uh, sorry about that. Um, uncheck? <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, what else do you find funny? Like, what else makes you laugh uncontrollably? What, what makes milk come shooting out of your nose? Good, good job killing the lull there. That was that was really great. <laughs> Not that I don't love an awkward silence, but um, makes milk shoot out of my nose. Um, really stupid jokes. Really, really stupid jokes. Like insanely stupid humor. My dad used to tell us the stupidest jokes. Us. Who's, who's us? Brothers, sisters? Yeah, my three brothers and I. Oh, so you're the only girl. Yep. It's funny because because I'm the only boy in my family. I've got uh, three sisters, and I'm the youngest. Wow, three sisters, a mother, and you're the youngest. It's like somebody got forced into dresses and makeup when they were younger. You're kind of weird, aren't you? <laughs> I'm not. I'm actually quite normal. It's just you know this water is really hitting me pretty hard right now and kind of a lightweight. So. Uh, uh, waiter, uh, another water cocktail for the lady, please. You got it, dude. I got you. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll have another glass of red wine. Thanks. Hey, do you want something else? Something maybe a little tastier? Yeah, Jameson meats. Yeah, no problem. Have we met before? No, well, I don't think so. Are you sure? All right, well, my name is Jericho, and I'm going to be right here if you need anything. Thanks, Jericho. So stupid humor, huh? <laughs> okay, so uh, I got one for you. This guy at work the other day told me this hilarious joke, uh, and he's not really funny at all, like, at all, but the joke he told was so bad that it became funny, you know what I mean? Anyways, uh, uh, check it. I, I mean... Uh, listen to this, or uh, lend me your ear. I'm sorry. I don't usually say check it when I'm trying to explain something to somebody, but but you see, I used to listen to a lot of rap music when I was younger, and well, I guess I still do, but but not not any of that old, like just real hip hop. You know what I mean? Like the good, true. Frank check. Excuse me. Frank check. It means just stop. I see where you were going. You had something to say, you got nervous, and then you got discouraged, and then you just started digging this hole for yourself to shit in. Yeah, that about sums it up. I mean, don't get me wrong. I would love to hear your joke, but the same thing happens to me sometimes where it just makes me feel so stupid, so I invented this term, right check, so it'll kind of keep me on track. Anytime that I feel like I'm rambling nervously, I just say, break check, and then it gets me right back on track. You say it out loud? Well, no. I mean, I might. I might mouth it or mumble it. 
I'm not really sure, but it, it usually turns out where there's somebody sitting across from me and they're just like looking at me while I'm just spewing this verbal diarrhea everywhere and nothing makes sense anymore. And you just get um, really... Break, check. Exactly. Here you go. Oh, hey, let me get that for you. Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry. I am. I am so clumsy. I'm sorry. Oh Jesus. Oh. I'm sorry. I got you all wet. Well, this is the first five minutes. You must be doing something right. Uh. That wasn't very ladylike of me. Oh my God. Your voice is so fucking familiar. There's no way it's you. It is you. Ashanti Von Hammer's mark. You had the sweetest, sweetest finger licking voice I've ever heard. I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, Jericho Davidson. The guy that liked having his pubes pulled out with teeth. You gave the greatest phone rim job I have ever had. I mean ever. I have spent the last 10 years dreaming about your voice every single day. If I wasn't married right now, you and I would be halfway to Vegas. Listen, this is a keeper right here, all right? This is a keeper and a freaky one to boot. A keeper. And for you. What's that all about? Phone rim jobs? <laughs> um, were you a phone sex operator? What? I'm really sorry I have to leave. It was very nice meeting you, Adam. Ashanti! Annie! Annie, wait! Wait up, Amy. Amy, look at, I'm, I'm not, here, just take this. I'm, I'm not sure what just happened back there, okay? But, but we don't have to talk about it if you don't want. I'm just so embarrassed, I can't even look at you. Uh, look, I, I mean, uh, I thought things were going pretty well before I spilled my drink. Or oh. until you found out that I was a phone sex operator. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that too. But, but I mean, hey, like, we all do stupid shit in our lives and and those things good or bad make us the people that we are oh really so did you just have a run-in with a former client that used to call you four times a week for a year well no but but this one time what i'm sorry i, I was kind of waiting for you to say at band camp no you know what it's like when people say very nice, or alrighty then. It's not funny, the joke's dead, and y your personality sucks. <laughs> yeah, I know, but but you see, this this one time... At band camp? No. No, this one time, I was out on a date, and I spilt my drink into the lap of this... I'm not going to say gorgeous girl, because she might get a big head about it, but... Uh, I spilled my drink into the lap of this reasonably attractive woman. And it was, it was right when everything was going good, you know, right when we just seemed to be hitting it off. Really? And then what happened? Um, well, then we went to another bar and we had a great rest of the night. Yeah, well, that sounds like a pretty boring story to me. Uh, I'm might have left out a few details. You know what? Let's go here.
favorite bar. Really? I mean, it's all right, but it's just not enough hipsters for my taste. your bills okay first off let me just say that it was once and for like a year and i i was young i was cut off from my parents i needed the money hey it's okay i i made enough money for two people to go to the uk you know we don't have to talk about out this. of state tuition that's awesome you know that's not something to be ashamed of you, you should be proud of that yeah well a nurse now Naughty nurse? No, you asshole. I'm an emergency nurse at UMC. No. What do you do? Um, I own a bar. Really? Yeah. Which one? This one. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I uh, have a little bar and grill over on the east side. It's called Stevens. Stevens? I've been meaning to go there. I just haven't made it there yet. It's all right. I, uh, you know, I saved up money for a few years and opened it back in 09. Wow, it's already been four years. Yeah, well, um, if you didn't know, I've been known to bust out some pretty big karaoke, so it sounds like this place could be a uh, graced with my presence. Oh, yeah? yeah? Sounds like you're pretty hot shit. Why don't you sing a little acapella for us right now, you know? Show me, show me your skills. No, no, no. I save my angelic voice for special occasions only. Well, how special is this occasion? I do declare, Adam Matthews. Childhood trauma, manic depression, intimacy issues, Oedipus complex, erectile dysfunction, triskaidekaphobia. Adam Matthews, ladies and gentlemen of the crowd, please step up here, sir. Who is that? So, uh, Adam, how's that Will Butrin shooting you, son? Still having trouble maintaining an erection? What the fuck, Dolan? What the fuck are you doing here? Well, obviously, I'm in body against some alcoholic beverages with these fine ladies, my friend. Psst, don't tell nobody but they're a whore, son. And you know, the thing is, Adam Matthews, you're my number one. Nolan, I told you all that shit in confidence, okay? You're not supposed to go around telling everybody. Oh, details, me tails, see tails, duck tails, woo-hoo! It's awfully depressing. Your girlfriend broke up with you, I understand. Woo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, it's all sad shit. But <laughs> you're thinking about committing suicide. You're thinking, oh, I'll go buy a gun. Ain't that cute? Okay, I am on a date right now. All right, I'm sure you're still a little bit pissed off, but I'm on a fucking date, man, so keep your mouth shut. Well, where's this uh, fine young lad this evening here? His name is Matt Brown. He's not too pleased with your asshole outbursts. Oh, lordy. Matt <laughs> Brown is a mighty, mighty taste of treat. Yes, yes she is. And you know what? Intimacy issue Adam here is going to get a full helping of daddy issue Danny. Daddy like her. Daddy like her a lot. Woo! Good jerk. Adam, let's get out of here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll be it. Man, that's bullshit. They didn't even know how to make a dinosaurs in their tracks. Shit, all it is is just fresh squeezed lemon, sliced up cucumber, clamato juice, freshly crushed Flintstones vitamins, the thimble, of chartreuse and gin. Come on. I asked the same guy for a fucking blumpkin pie and he just stared at me. What a dick, right? Hey, thanks for saying that back there. Yeah, no problem. What a drunken jackass. Who does that? Who just like pretends that there's some therapist and then like gives out fake diagnoses to other people? Well, that drunken jackass used to be my best friend. I did not like him, not one bit. 
you believe that he was actually going to school to become a therapist, and I regrettably used to confide in him. Oh, what happened? They obviously failed out. Well, yeah, obviously, but I mean, what happened with you two? We went into business together, and he liked drinking and partying a little bit more than being responsible. You know what, you were right. Uh, we should cut this date short. Uh, it's going so badly already, and it can only get worse from here on out, so... Uh, no, 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 you're not getting off that easy. We're even now, Buster Brown. You know something awful about me, and I know something about you. Yeah, but that shit my family doesn't even know about. My, my closest friends don't know that stuff about me. Yeah, well, you're probably never gonna see them again, so who cares? Really? Seriously? Do, are you completely unaware of how small Tucson really is? Everybody knows everybody here. And even if they don't know you, they know somebody that knows you from somewhere or another. And, and plus, now you know how fucked up in the head that I am. Oh, as opposed to finding out later. Well, yeah. I mean, first you get to know me and become more accepting of who I am. And then you find out how crazy I am. Like, hide the crazy until it's safe to come out, you know? You're not that crazy, and I didn't hear him say anything about how you're like some psycho clown rapist who like skins people and wears them as lampshades, so there's that. Well, I did cut him off, so he could have left out a few things. Oh, really? Like what? Well, for instance, I like to put people down deep wells and tell them to put the lotion on its skin, else it gets the hose again. Do you also like to tuck your penis and wear women's robes because that is something I've very much been searching for in a man? I'm, and by the way, I don't have that erectile problem anymore. Yeah, sure, stud. to say, uh, 
It only lasts about six months. Um, you know, when we met, everything seemed so perfect. We, we shared common interests. We had the same morals, the, the same upbringing. And also, so I invested all of my faith in the, the fact that, that she was the one for me. She was the one. And when it ended, Really hard. It was it was harder than like my previous five year relationship. Well, all of your hope was invested. Yeah. She was way out of my league too. Way fucking out of my league. Like maybe it just took her some time to realize that. So she finally got smart then. So I mean was she like a three then? Like out of your league, like three point two. She was like a four point Three. I oh, mean, she okay. was way smoking hot, you know? <laughs> so, what'd she look like? Well, she had this long, luscious blonde hair. And these eyes, oh my god, these eyes were so green that that you'd swear that they were contacts, but they weren't, they were her eyes. Anyway, I don't, I don't know why I'm talking about this. I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. I asked, it's okay. No, go on, please. Um, I, I hear she dyed her hair brown, so I guess her hair is brown now. She had this incredible laugh, you know? It wasn't a laugh, it was the fact that she throw her head back and clap every time she did. And she had this tattoo on her right shoulder. It was a it was a heart. You know, she got a tattoo of a heart right there on her sleeve. I know it's corny, but I love that about her. What? What, what did I say? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll oh, stop. I'll stop. No. You know what? I, I'm really thirsty. Um, let's go get a drink somewhere. Well, why don't we go into Shays? Yeah, I mean, they make no, it no, great no, no, no. Long you know, Island. I hate this bar. We should go get a Mai Tai. Yeah, a Mai Tai. We should definitely go. Okay. What is wrong with you? I'm just being quirky. What the Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. It's on Annie. Is that really you? Nope. Nope. It's just Annie. It's brown if you're nasty. Of course. I'm so sorry. You've lost a lot of weight. You look great. Really you do. That's excellent. We need to go. Who is this tall drink of water? This isn't your boyfriend, is it Annie? Uh, hi. Uh, Tara, is it? It's a, it's a pleasure to meet you, uh, ladies. Good job. <clears throat> uh, no, um, we actually just met earlier tonight. We're uh, kind of on our first date. Oh, that's right. Your engagement fell through. That must have been so sad for you. No, that was a great day. Yeah, it was filled with smiles and fist bumps and high fives. Michael and I just celebrated our seventh anniversary. We went to Cabo. It was great. Actually, we ran into Tiger Woods and his new girlfriend, and we had dinner and drinks together. Oh my god, it was so amazing. That is so cool. And the boys are getting to be so big, and oh, I heard you had a miscarriage. Is that true or just a rumor? All right, I've had enough of this. Uh, I'm, I'm sure Annie would love to stay in chat with you ladies, but I think you're royal fucking bitches, so we're gonna go, all right? Come on. Hey, hey, you want to go get some food? I think we should get some food. I'm, I'm really hungry. I, I, I'm starving, actually. I, I think we should go get some food. You, you're hungry, too. You know you are. Let, let's go get some food. Fucking cunt. Hey, no, it's, it's all right. I, I, I got the perfect cure for the fucking cunt bitch blues, and it's the best slice of pizza in Tucson. <laughs> Brooklyn is back that way. Shh. I got you. 
<laughs> Got you. Come on. Come on. because you were fat? Absolutely. I mean, you don't forget being a young woman and having your hot boyfriend stolen from you. I know I don't. <laughs> Do you also remember your first period? Yeah. It was in an above ground swimming pool. And everybody like rushed to get out because they thought there was a shark in the water. <laughs> it's not funny. Yeah, that's why, um, that's why the engagement fell through. Because you also perioded in a pool? No. <laughs> because of the miscarriage? Yeah, I figured. Yeah. Did you name it? Um, yeah, I, we... We named him. What would make you ask that question? Uh, my mom had a miscarriage. I was uh, about nine years old when it happened. I was really looking forward to having a little brother, you know? And uh, I would talk to my mom's stomach and, uh, and tell him uh, how much fun we were going to have when he got out of there. I told him about my Ninja Turtles and my X-Men. I would actually uh, recreate these battles on my mom's stomach with, like, Leonardo and uh, Wolverine or something. It was pretty epic. Pretty epic battles. <laughs> uh, I talked to him about our dog, Lily, uh, about what I did at school that day. That when he got out of there, I was going to be his big brother, protect him. Then it happened that eventually led to my parents' divorce and my mom never getting pregnant again. I mean, no doubt it was, it was difficult for her, but I think that giving him a name, I don't know, it, it helped her cope with everything that was happening. She was never really the same, you know? What'd she name him? Steven, what's your name yours? Um, William. Little William. Yeah, I, I named him after my dad. I guess I didn't, you know, consider another name for him. And uh, when I miscarried, I had to give birth in the hospital. And so I asked them what my options were. And they said, one, bury him, or two, medical waste. And I couldn't think of my son as medical waste, so we decided to bury him, and we had a little ceremony. And there was this funeral home that had this garden for kids. They called it the Garden of Innocence. And, um, I don't know, I guess it was kind of nice knowing that I can go and see him from SAD, a place that can kind of give me closure. I mean, they, they treat him like he was an actual living person, you know? They had a little casket and flowers and
Jessica, you know, it's been a year and I haven't really talked to anybody but my mom and my sister about it. So I guess it was really awesome running into your old nemesis earlier then. Oh yeah, that was great. Yeah. Good thing we filled up on pizza because you never want to talk about a miscarriage on an empty stomach. Holy shit! That's fucked up! Oh. I mean, it's really good pizza though. I mean, I bet you it's got you creaming in your jeans right now. Let's just say that if I were a boy, this pizza would have more holes in it than an M. Night Shyamalan movie. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Have you, have you seriously ever heard of a date weirder than this one? <laughs> really? You're going to tell me that you've been on a date weirder than the one we're on right now? Yeah, I will tell you all about the weirdest date I've ever been on, but first I think we should walk to Congress. I think we should dance. Oh really? Yeah. Think you can handle my moves? You've got moves? Oh, I, I've got moves. I've got, I've got good moves. Ready? This is you getting started? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you like that? You like that? Mm. Do a little bit of one of these, one of those. Mm -hmm. Take it into the spin yeah, and the yeah. crotch grab and everything. Mm. Wow, I like think that? that Michael Jackson just rolled in his grave just a little bit. Don't you mean moonwalked? <laughs> Come on, what do you got? Show me your moves. All right. I got some of this. Got some of that for you. Oh, yeah. Got some of this. Uh -huh. Got some of this. Because uh -huh. of that? Yeah, you like that? Yeah. 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 Oh, I want to go shopping right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, pick it out. You want to check it out? Uh -huh. Okay, so, worst date ever. You ready? I'm ready. So, it's like 2005. I had been going to this new gym for a while, and um, there was this trainer there that would talk to me every day. And he was pretty cute and nice, and so when he finally asked me out, I was like, eh, why not? Yeah, I would have done the same thing. So, he picks me up at my place and takes me to a party. Mm -hmm. Right, why not? House party, good stuff. Um, we get there, and he makes a beeline for the keg. <laughs> yeah, no, he took me to a kegger for high school graduates. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of guy. Yeah, so he gets hammered drunk. Uh -huh. Like Lindsay Lohan drunk. And this is already the worst date I've ever been on. And for some reason, I haven't left yet. Wow, he was that cute? So I'm finally ready to leave. And I go everywhere looking for him. And I can't find him. Nobody knows where he is. So I check the master bedroom. And I find him face down in the closet. Ass! in a box of Frosted Flakes, shit no. and piss and puke everywhere. Oh. And I wake him up and he gets so embarrassed that he starts immediately stripping off his clothes and starts to try to clean up so as not to make a larger mess. Well, I mean, that sounds legit. Then, next thing I know, he is passed out in his friend's bed, still naked, shitting, pissing, and puking. <laughs> and so I go to find the homeowner, his friend, and I tell him, what was going on and he's like god damn it larry not again because apparently this had happened twice before oh my god yeah so then his friend and i who's possibly the best friend in the world proceed to clean him up we throw him in the shower and try to shower him off and it's a nightmare a literal shit storm so, how do you not give up on dating completely after that? Well, because my date's friend, John, ended up becoming my fiance. I became engaged to him. No shit. I mean, it doesn't make sense. What, what brings people closer together than cleaning up another person's feces? It, yeah. I get it. Totally. And I mean, we were great together, but... There were already a few cracks in the relationship, and I knew he wasn't the love of my life, but when I got pregnant, I felt like he could be the guy that would fill that role. I mean, the baby was kind of the whole thing that was gluing us together, and 
when it happened. God, I sound so sad and pathetic right now, don't I? Yeah, you do. But, I mean, you got nothing on me. Oh, really? Really. So, did you also, like, stay up all night listening to your guys' old records and, and looking at old films and, 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 and photos? Of course I did. Did you also get blackout drunk and then cry yourself to sleep at night? Every single night for almost a month. Did you also, like, gather all of the pieces of her hair and make a shrine to her and light candles and do, like, animal sacrifices? I mean, come on, Annie. Of course I did. I'm a human being, after all. And that's what any normal, heartbroken human being would do. So what would you do if you saw her tonight? I'm actually surprised I haven't how wacky tonight's going, but I don't know, if I saw her, I'd probably say something like, bitch, your old news, like yesterday's newspaper. Oh, right, you'd probably start crying like a little biatch, they are taking you back, all the while you see her pants. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen her since we broke up. Are you serious? Yeah, so it's been like four months. Shit. Anyway, even if we did run into her, uh, I don't think it could ruin tonight. I mean, it couldn't make it any worse. I mean, I'm really having a good time with you. Yeah, well, me too. Now let's see some of those sweet moves on the dance floor. Jessica. Hi, Adam. Hey, Jay. Do you want to go grab a drink? Um, actually, I think we were going to go get a drink. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to my Adam Bob. Come on, let's go talk.
No. No, because because now I see who you really are. Bitch, your old news like yesterday's newspaper line. Like, what happened to that? Uh, I don't know. I I looked at you and uh, I wasn't so angry anymore. Early to ask you on another date? Yeah, I'll let it slide. But next time, can we just go see a movie? Running and running, but he's not getting anywhere. <laughs> 